got a question on Facebook from Anthony. What's the best way to create a Linux server using Zubuntu for use as a media server? Okay, well, I haven't used uh, Zubuntu uh, for a complicated setup like that myself, but I do have an Ubuntu 16 server that I use with Plex to record and uh, watch some shows. It um, has a beta DVR feature you can use to record over the air or cable uh, shows. And then I have physical media that I add to it um, with some other technology. Um, and that way I can have all of my movies and TV shows that I own added to my server and then stream them from my Plex server out to my phone um, or any other device like an Apple TV, for instance, uh, or Chromecast. It's available on almost anything these days. Uh, and you can separate your movies and TVs into different uh, folders and libraries and makes it very easy to manage. Um, and there's a guide series that I wrote also on the community to help you get started with it. So it covers installation, some of the more advanced features like sharing it um, and how to add and manage your media with Plex. We've got another on Facebook from Anthony. Second, he says, does anyone know of an easy way to build a desktop DVR system that can support about a dozen sources at a time and also record as many as five feeds at one time? Yeah, it's gonna be complicated. So um, you're gonna run into some issues with trying to get that many um, feeds and that many different uh, options available for a single DVR system. You might look into something like myth.tv, which has been around for a very long time now, um, but Plex is gonna be a little more limited depending on how many tuners you have. And like I said, it's still a beta feature for their DVR function. Um, so I'm not sure if there's anything that will support um, that much all at once. All right, now, what is this little thing that you have? Yeah, and this is a Poro from League of Legends, which is a video game by Riot Games, and he's here for emotional support. Awesome, thank you, Sean. Now we've got one from Alex on Twitter. Among all Linux and Red Hat certificates, which one would you recommend for someone to start with? Seriously, I'm confused. For Red Hat certification, it would be my recommendation to start with the RHCSA, mostly because Red Hat has the best recognizability in the industry. If you're getting certified to find a job, your employers or potential employers are immediately going to recognize Red Hat and any certifications that you carry from Red Hat. So definitely get the RHCSA 7. And if you have the opportunity, I highly encourage you to continue and get the RHCE or to follow one of the other certificate tracks for cloud or virtualization or even try for the RHCA. Thank you, Treva. We've got one on YouTube from Prakyath. Is it possible to add an audio player feature to the Linux Academy apps? I know that the apps provide MP3 downloads, but it's too much work to rename and arrange them in the mobile phones because our downloadable MP3 file names are not properly named or arranged. Also, it's hard to watch the videos in moving vehicles. Yeah, don't do that if you're driving. That's a great question. So while we don't specifically have MP3 audio only playback, it's something that you can easily get around. So in the settings, we have an option that allows the video to keep on playing while the screen is off. Just enable that, play the video that you want, and you're good to go. If you're Bluetoothed into your car or speaker system, you can continue listening to the, to the lesson while the video is off. 